Okay, let's get into this. So I'm still looking for stuff. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Now's your chance to get revenge on Blackwell. Oh yeah, I'm so bummed that I don't get to party with the Vortex Club. There's still time. Especially with you around, right? Don't talk. Search. Look oh, everywhere, Max. I like it there has to be some info in the student files. Faster. Let's see. If I would have signed a petition, I could have made the difference. This pretty much sums up Kate, shy and sweet, and in the wrong place. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott? That's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are a supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. 
What? You never know. Mm. I feel like shit for taking that money. What else could we have done? Yeah, it's hard to read all this. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is out. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So, splish splash, you're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> but what does the hundred money have any influence on to the Blackwell self and Max herself? I'm so with Chloe, but Max, really? We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe's so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I guess I should consider this evolution. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Nathan's? Well, I thought we'll see him. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Oh. Uh, yes and no. Boys locker room is right. Try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Right, I want to show you guys something. There has to be a control panel no, to the lights around here. <laughs> She's going to like Chloe, she's probably wearing her ass off. And I don't have a response. So I've always seen it. Presto! Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick.
Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger, or Self-Righteous Hypocrite. Time to do or die, Max. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. Happy scene. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not some chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like love of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? I'm sure you have Blackwell photos all over you. Like Warren. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Hello guys! <laughs> I'm Wando. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Dude, hide! Like when we were 
kids? I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. We are so invisible. Well, I took me four tries the last time when I did that. That's just amazing. officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Get in. Motherfuckers! <laughs> Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so are. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school at Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel and pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up, but I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get 
address now. Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Supplies are endless in the evening by the morning. Then I have to go, especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. Time to put on your daily armor. stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's in a girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we just hang out here forever like we were Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I look stupid usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a mom. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. I was just thinking so much from watching this roof.
this might be the one time these people are right. Oops, I hope that message wasn't for Joyce or Chloe. Again, Chloe, don't you sleep? Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. to see the sky turn red. Now go down here. Now the bird, now I guess a bird is dead. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean Max. Who was you sort of me? Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hell raiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. <laughs> Tom, we wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Wow, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Huh, bacon. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. Oh, <laughs> Max Caulfield. Are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. You think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what? A century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. Go sit at the table.
What bird? I don't see anything. I heard the sound. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's not afraid of showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, that was the last picture he ever took. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be more vivid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. Oh, God, He's I hate gotta this. gotta be hiding shit. Okay, I'm not even a bother looking for it now. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, Jake Pooler for life. Peace. <laughs> Just me.